welcome to another vlog. I'm not gonna say weekly because this they're crazy. Um, I just closed out the other one, same face and everything. Um, I want to go ahead and start this one before I start work for the day because then it's done. I can cross it off my to-do to list and I'm good to go. Um, I'm currently reading Ghosts in the Headlights. I'm not going to go back on the rant that I had about the first half of this book. If you want to see the rant, go back to my, my last weekly vlog or my last vlog. I will put it, I'll link it below um, because I had a big rant about this. Um, yeah. This reads like it was written in the other early 2000s and it wasn't. It was written in 2021. I checked the date on the inside of the cover because I was because I was really curious. Um, but yeah, I'm still in the same place. I'm hoping to finish it today. I hope we get some b-roll of me reading today. We will see. Uh, yeah, I will talk to y'all in the next clip. Bye. Hi guys and welcome back to my weekly vlog. So today is Thursday, November the 11th. I'm getting better at updating this daily. Woo. Um, so this morning I've already had my breakfast, done my morning routine, all that good stuff. Um, I finished Ghost in the Headlights yesterday. Um, I'm giving it three stars. It was pretty good, honestly. Um, the whodunit of it, I didn't see coming. So give it that. Um, it wasn't really surprising amazing um honestly but I didn't like guess it from the beginning so it was okay it was an okay read um for me it's a uh, three star rating is nothing to turn your nose up at uh, it's just an average read it's nothing that it didn't wow me it didn't leave me wanting to read more or wanting to read it again um which is acceptable I mean it is a middle grade and I'm a grown-ass woman reading it so there's that. Um, I will I will let y'all know what the little sister has to say because I have not told her I finished it yet. Um, me and my mom talked about it last night um, a little bit, but I hadn't talked to the 10 year old yet. So I'll let you know what she has to say. Um, next I picked up, and no one's that surprised at this point, but I did not pick up the two I've already started. That is Not the Girl You Marry by Andy J. Christopher. Um, I literally picked this up because of the author's note in the very front of it. Um, our author is mixed, like I am. Um, so her, I think her mother was black. So she's like me. Her mother was white, her dad was black. Um, and she never really felt black enough. And the awkward question of what are you? Um, she talks about how that always bugged her and bugged the fact that she never felt like she found a place where she fit. And so she wrote a romance where our character is bi for our uh, main character is biracial and she basically finds her spot her place with the main dude. Um, I don't usually do romance, so this should be interesting to see what I think. I so far I am literally ten pages into it because I got about ten pages in. Somebody started throwing a fit and was ready for bed. Um, she was ready to turn the light out and was screaming and hollering because the light was not out. So. That's where I got last night. Um, hopefully, I will get a little further today. Um, we will see. I do have to work today, so um, I actually have to extend the clock in. I have like three minutes till I'm supposed to be on clock, so that's where that is. Um, I will update y'all if I read any more of this, if I have any more thoughts about this. Um, I may read a little bit of this and then pick up some more of the of uh, a quarter of Silver Flames. I'm gonna read a little more of that because I have gotten to the good part of Nesta and Cassian and the girl could use some of that those vibes in her life right now. Um, so I may end up reading a little bit of this, read a little bit of Court of Silver Flames. It depends on how my day goes, to be honest. Um, if I'm having an awful day by lunch, we're gonna pick up a Court of Silver Flames because I could use all the great vibes. Um, but yeah, that's where we are today. I will update y'all later. Uh, we are going to go to work. Hopefully somebody does not start screaming because she just woke up, but we will see. Bye guys. Hi guys, and welcome back to a weekly reading vlog update. So it is Sunday the 14th. I did not film yesterday. I know, I don't remember if I updated you on Friday. Um, yesterday was just kind of a shit show um, of a day. So yeah, I woke up got ready was supposed to see a friend that didn't happen so me and little one went to walmart 
to get a few things and I literally sat on the couch for four hours with her after we went to Walmart because I had not had coffee or water or anything in my system and so I just felt blah. This morning I have been up and moving and I've gotten all my morning routine done plus some. I've got trash out so today is going much better than yesterday. I have been reading so I'm still reading Not, Your, Not the Girl You Marry by Andy J. Christopher. This uh, uh, I just got to a sort of smutty scene and I'm here for it. Um, I like my I like a little more smut but I'm hoping it'll get there. I'm sorry if you hear baby girl. She's awake. Um, I like a little more smut but hopefully we get there. <laughs> um, I am currently 90 pages through and I'm hoping to finish it by Thursday. Um, I'd be happy if I finished sooner, but at least by Thursday. Um, I did the math last night and I have to read like 40 pages a day to finish it, which is totally doable um, because I'm starting to read at least an hour at night, which has been great. Uh, so when I finish this though, I have a problem. So let me explain. I went book shopping um, and I Oh, I didn't go book shopping. I put an Amazon order in and a thrift books order in. Um, I decided to treat myself. I ended up with 11 books? Question mark. I think I got eight from thrift books and then I know I got three from Amazon. The three I got from Amazon was Gideon the Ninth, um, Serpent and Dove, and Touch of Darkness. Um, I will leave pictures here because they're all in another room. Um, Gideon the Ninth has been described as lesbian necromancers in space. That's all I need to know. Um, my gay heart is happy. That's all I needed to know to go ahead and pick that one up. Um, what else? I'm sorry, my brain just stopped working. Oh, Serpent and Dove. Um, I know it is a witch hunter who has to marry a witch and that's all I know about it. I'm excited. I've seen everyone all over Book Talk and Bookstagram and Booktube talk about that book and they love it. It's like a new cult favorite. So I'm excited to pick it up. And then Touch of Darkness is the real reason I placed that order. It is a Hades and Persephone love story. I have heard it's super smutty and I, I need it. Um, from basically what I understand is that Persephone couldn't grow anything she is only the goddess of spring and name because she can't make anything grow. So she goes, she comes down to earth to be a mortal photo photographer, I believe. Um, and ends up in a night in Hades nightclub, makes a bet with him that she can make something grow in the underworld. And now she's down there trying to make something grow to win this bet with him for her freedom, for her to be able to leave the underworld. If not, she's stuck. I, I need it. Um, I needed it and I'm probably pretty sure when I finish it I'm gonna need the next two I'm gonna go ahead and order them I had been putting it off because honestly like thrift books didn't have it and it was a little more expensive than I wanted to pay and I was just like I, what if I don't read it you know beating myself up but I was finally it's my birthday month and I was like nope I'm getting what I want I'm getting the books I want so I placed an order and then thrift books honestly their books are always so cheap, so I just place an order for fun. Um, if I'm gonna spend money, let's go ahead and spend money. And I know I got one more Eli Harris. I had to think of his last name. He, Eli Harris is one of his other books. Not the second one in, uh, after The Invisible Life because a friend of mine said that they were gonna get it for me. And with my birthday coming up, I didn't wanna ruin it and then buy it for me and then I also bought it for myself. But, um, that series is a trilogy and then he has more books so I picked up another one of his because I really like his writing style and with Invincible Life being his first usually their writing style their writing gets better the more books they write um so I'm excited to read this one I don't remember exactly what it's about I know it's another gay man I know that like our main character is either gay or bi um but that's all I really know about that one. And then the other thing that's worth mentioning that I can think of that I got in thrift books was the third in the Mara Dyer series. I had been, I had borrowed it from the library and just never got around to it. 
and I had the first two so I was like I'm gonna go ahead and buy the third one because honestly at this point I love this series it's a definite like win I'm just curious how she's going to end it all since it's only a trilogy um so I bought it too there was a couple more I threw in there <laughs> sorry somebody is down here playing and farting it's one of those mornings yeah yeah are you gonna talk no, yeah, we're gonna stop now. Um, so I I know there was another Morgan the next one I needed in the Morganville Vampires. I know that one's in there, which I'm excited to jump back into. Um I can't remember which one I'm on. Uh it's in there on my shelf. I just don't remember which one I'm on, honestly. I think number nine or ten. I think I'm on ten, but Anyways, I digress. Um, I got it and a couple others, of course. I There will be a haul when they all come in. I'm just waiting for them to get to me. Um, and then there will be a haul, but I don't know what I'm going to pick up next because my Amazon ones are already here. And your girl really, really wants to read the Hades and Persephone one or the Lesbian Nec Necromancers. Like, they're in top, top two. Um, but I also already have two I've already started on my nightstand and a whole TBR that I put out that I wanted to follow. So we will see what I, what I get to. Um, yeah, I will probably update y'all later today. Hopefully I can get some B-roll. Um, I've been really bad at that, <laughs> honestly. Uh, I should have filmed last night. I deep cleaned my kitchen and moved the whole, like everything around. It works much better. Um, my brain's happy with it now than where it was but I still like I should have filmed it and I didn't um yeah I will talk to y'all later hi guys welcome back to another update to my weekly vlog I have not read anything I just thought I would say hi on this Tuesday night um little bits in there she was watching Taylor Wynn's uh vlog because I was listening to it and now she's mad because the screen stopped moving. There's nothing on the TV. So she's a little upset right now. I can hear her little legs waiting for mommy to turn it back on. Um, I'm frying chicken because I was going to make this easy cheesy skillet chicken and broccoli meal. If you've not tried these, these are this is awesome. I don't care for the stroganoff one, but I don't care for beef usually. But this one is the bomb.com. But... I thought I laid out chicken breast. I didn't. I laid out chicken thighs. Well, thigh meat. Um, so I'm having it instead. Sorry if you can hear Salem. We are in heat and dealing. Um, and clearly I need a full laundry. Anyways, so I'm frying chicken instead. Frying chicken thighs, and then I'm gonna have green beans and uh green beans and mashed potatoes. And then this is a hot apple cider. Hot pumpkin spice apple cider that I actually am really enjoying. I drank a glass of it cold just a minute ago and really liked it, so we're gonna try it warm with a little bit of caramel syrup added because I like caramel with my apple and caramel with my pumpkin spice, so that's probably gonna be bomb. Um, yeah, just wanted to check in and say hi. Um, you can tell pretty tired at this moment. Makeup's done, but not really, and so yeah. I will talk to y'all later. Bye guys. Hi guys, welcome back to another update on my weekly vlog. Um, today is my off day, so I'm hoping to make a book treat and film, but I'm not putting any makeup on for filming, so that should be interesting. Um, I usually do my full face for makes filming, except in vlogs, because obviously vlogs don't count, but um, I'm a tired mom right now, and this is how some has been for two hours. She does not want to move. She doesn't feel good. Um, I gave her some grape water to help her calm down her tummy. I don't know what we got into, but it is not agreeing with our system. When when I lay her down, she screams. So the goal today is to give her some extra lovings, get a book tree done, and get some filming done. Um, I have all my film, all my. Uh, videos for the rest of December planned out. Um, I'm gonna throw this vlog up at an extra, like an extra day, one week, um, just for fun, so that I have it 
for later. Um, yeah, but I'm still reading A Touch of Darkness. Um, I am really enjoying it. Um, it's a little hard to read right now because my romantic life is not great. So reading a romance is not fun. Um, I may end up putting it down here a little while and picking up something fantasy or just something that's not romance, uh, romance, um, uh, brain will work in a second. That is not ro that is not a romance primarily, like something that might have like a romance on the side that I can ignore and follow the rest of the story. Um, I have another book haul I need to film for you guys, which I'm excited to do. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would update this for a minute and show you my sleeping tree frog. She is literally just in mom's lap. And if I lay her down on the couch or anything, she just throws a fit. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to, I'm fixing to just barrow into a blanket on the couch, watch some NCIS, finish my pie and read. Um, my grandmother made a butterfinger pie. Oh, is it good? It's not as sweet as I want it to be, but it's so good. And maybe I'll lay the fruit frog down. She's like, oh, my shirt. We're good in a sleep, so. Hi, guys, and welcome back to my weekly vlog. So, I'm actually here to close it out. As you can see, somebody's having her bottle. Um, And so, I thought I would close this, go ahead and close this out. Um. It's obviously been over a week. I don't know why I keep calling these weekly vlogs. They never are a week. Um, but last it is the second of December, so I'm gonna go and close this out and then uh start a new one and it will be a monthly long one. Like I'm just gonna start calling it monthly because that's pretty much what I'm doing. Um anyway, sorry, I'm looking for Freya. Freya Oh, okay, you're fine. She's laying in front. I'm trying to teach her not to get on furniture. And it's been a struggle. <laughs> so I thought she was in there on my bed. She's not. She was in front of the table laying down. Being a good pity. No. No. Um. Anyways, so last night I finished A Touch of Darkness by St. Clair is her last name. I cannot remember um, her first name. I will put it up on my head. It was so good. It gave me all the vibes I needed. Um, it definitely gave me Reese vibes. Like, Hades gave me Reese vibes. Um, and so now I'm wondering if there's any other, like, category of romance I would like. Because it gave me such Reese vibes. So I loved this one, but didn't really care for Not the Girl You Marry. So, I'm curious to see if there's any more, like same vibes I can get recommendations for so if you have any of those leave them below um but I absolutely loved it um there are two more in the series I will be picking those up as soon as possible um and with that done at the first of December it gives me a little more wiggle room because I broke each book down in my, on my TBR this month there's five into how many pages I have to read a day to get them all done by the end of the year. It's roughly 60 pages. I read like 150 last night of A Touch of Darkness. So uh, I am definitely ahead of schedule, which makes me very happy for myself because I have not been reading much, um, which you'll see in my... Okay, back to what I was saying before she decides she needed to burp. Um, I finished it and I loved it. And it gave me all the Reese and Freya vibes, which I know I've, re I've read loosely that, you know, A Court of Mist, a court of mist and Fury um, is based on Hades and Persephone. But it's still, I don't know if it's because it's Grump. Not really Grump and Sunshine. Um, so... Again, if you know what vibes I'm talking about, let me know below what you would suggest. Uh, but I finished it, and now I'm going to pick up, then there were four. Uh, it is a thriller. I'm really in the mood for a thriller, not really another romance. So I'm going to get it, start it here in just a little bit. Um, again, as you can tell, 
speeding a little bit. Uh, and then we have a Walmart order to go get tonight. And yeah. Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. I hope you can hear me. Um, I have my sister in there watching TV in the living room. And I'm in here with Tiny. We've been asleep for about an hour. Um, I'm hoping I can get her in her car seat without waking her up. I thought I would start this video out here though. Um, I finished my last one and did not film an opening. Um, I started, then there were four, and right now it's super confusing. Um, I'm only like 20 pages into it. I cannot seem to make myself read more of it. So I'm going to give it another shot tonight, trying to get another, get to page 100. If I still find I cannot, just cannot focus on it, I'm going to put it down and pick something else up. But I will let y'all know. I just wanted to open up this vlog and show you my sleeping little angel. I love her so much. Hi guys, and welcome back to my weekly vlog. So, we're in my car, clearly. I'm sitting at my house. I could go inside, but... um. I had I took the day off um, because I had took baby girls to the doctor today. So now we have about an hour and a half before um, I have to go run an errand for my mom. Um, neither one of my, me or my mother want to cook for dinner. So we decided that we are going to get Popeye's. But I'm going to go drive to get Popeye's because it's an hour or it's about 45 minutes drive to go get Popeye's and come back so I'm gonna do that while my mother finishes up her day at work um took baby girl to the doctor because it looks like she has a rosemary or a strawberry birthmark like right here on her eye and she scratched it last night there was blood across her face and so it freaked me out a little bit I called the doctor she's had a little bit of a cough and coughing up a little bit of phlegm so I figured hmm, let's go to the doctor and just get all this checked out uh we switched doctor's offices which loved, 100% loved her new doctor. They explained everything to me, um, made sure I was comfortable with all the information they gave me, and did not treat me like I was stupid, and did not treat me like I was overreacting. They, it was, it was awesome. Um, but I thought I would update y'all on my reading while I'm just sitting here. Um, we're gonna run to the library too. I'm not going inside the library. I'm literally gonna go turn books in, call them to read for check one, and be done. Um, but I was going to update on my reading. So I started, then there were four. And it is a weird... They The story's told really weirdly. Um, there's two perspectives. Caleb and... I don't want to pronounce her name because I'm probably going to pronounce her wrong. But one, the... Let's call her Sarah. Because it kind of... Her name's Earth and S. Um, she... Her perspective is normal. Like, you're in her head. She's giving her thoughts and, like, she's talking to you. Caleb ta is in, like, third person. And so, it's super weird. And, like, she's judgmental of other of other girls for their looks. And, like, recognizes that and talks about it, which is cool. But, um, the big problem I had was that... They don't really seem to mesh. They are, it's very confusing. And then, like, the they go to this place where they're supposed to be meeting, like, the leadership's, leadership, the school leadership's supposed to be meeting, their faculty advisor. And all of a sudden, the roof falls in on them. And, like, you're, now I'm, like, trying to figure out how the roof fell in, why the roof fell in, and Caleb's trying to find them to see if he can help. She is stuck with another girl. And... Like, she's on the bottom, this girl's on top, and all this, there's, like, debris on top of her. So, like, she shielded her, and they're talking. It's just super weird, and my brain's not wrapping around it, and I think it's more me that's making it weird, and not it. Like, I'm being weird to it, it's not being weird to me. Um, time of thing, so I'm putting it down for now, and I'm picking up The Recipe of Maradar. It's another weird one, but this one I know is told normally, and I can actually wrap my brain around it, and I know I'm going to enjoy it.
watched me play a little bit in my journal today. Um, that was a look before this. Baby started screaming, so I had to go get her. She's currently asleep. It is Sunday, December the 11th. Baby Jesus. Or 12th. No, it's the 12th. According to my calendar on my computer, it's the 12th. Um, I'm having a very Nightmare Before Christmas themed Sunday with my sweater and then my newest love, my Oogie Boogie mug. Um, he is just perfect. I saw him in Spencer's. Had to have him. Um, I went in there to get my mother her mug that she got for Christmas, which if she has not used him this morning, I will show y'all. Um, and I found Oogie Boogie and had to have him. Um, but baby's currently asleep. Um, I, the plan for your day is honestly just to relax. My sister's coming in from Commerce later on today. And I think we're gonna go over there to see her for a little bit. I need to put meat away um, from grocery shopping and pick up house. Pick up the house, pick up house, I'm tired. Pick up the house. Um, I need to go turn a library book in too. So if I get out today, I'm gonna go turn a library book in. If not, it'll happen tomorrow. Um, I've been trying to call them, can't get them on the phone to renew this book, even though I really wanna read it and like keep it. I'm just gonna go turn it in um, and see how much my late fees are for it. I am currently watching a Books and Lala uh, vlog. I'm going to finish setting up in my bullet journal, which I'll probably film, just be roll for y'all, um, and read for a little bit. I finished, I'm gonna insert it here. Um, I finished A Touch of Darkness a couple days ago and loved it so much I ordered the second one. The second one's in my purse in there. Um, and so I decided that to get myself to, before I could read the second one and like throw myself into that, I had to finish ones I've already started. And so I have, I started, and there were four. I put it down because like I told y'all it was super weird. And then I started Night World. I only got a page in it, so I decided that I didn't count because it was only like two pages in. The other thing I had had started and needed to finish, which I'm looking for, um, needed to finish before I could pick it up was my reread of the Court of Silver Flames. Um, I am currently 540 pages through this book. Yeah, and I'm loving it. Uh, it, I'm getting to the point where Nesta is like uh, adjusting to everything and adjusting to Cassian and stuff, and she's fixing to pull a Freya. Um, if you know, you know what I'm talking about. Um, she's fixing to pull a Freya, and so I'm going through this really slowly. I have 200 pages left, roughly 200 pages left. I'm hoping to finish today. We will see if I get any reading done. Um, again, I've been setting up my bullet journal. Um, I wanted to test out a daily layout. I've been using the same weekly layout for a couple weeks now. Oh, my arm hurts. Um, I've been using the same weekly layout for a couple weeks now. I'm loving it. It seems to be working, but there's certain days like tomorrow that I want to plan in more detail and like have more room and my the weekly layout I'm using doesn't leave room for that. So I did a tip in for this week which you saw me do the tip in and everything. Um, I can show y'all. See I did a tip in here so I can set up the daily here and then I have a whole other page here for whatever I want in the rest of my weekly. Um, I'm loving the whole tip in idea. It's been awesome into making my journal work for me. Um, I did one here that just has like a grocery list on it because I needed room for it. Um, where else did it? I don't think I did another tip in anywhere else in here yet. Um, yeah, I did a one in the front that just has, there's two that has my key because I changed it up a little bit and then this one has my color code in it. Um, and then I did a little tab. Hold on one second. There is blue on this page. So I did a tab on this page 
just the little I made a little tab on this page so I can tell where 2021 started and then I have some things that I did for videos that I'm going to put out for you guys um tomorrow is going to be my filming day I was gonna film today since I'm off but I decided I didn't want to I just wanted to relax so we're gonna do that um yeah that's kind of where I'm at if I pick up something else I will update you guys um if I finish a quart of silver flames I will be picking up I think it's a touch of ruin this next I'll be picking it up probably um I do have the retribution of Mara Dyer uh where the crawdads sing and one other one on my tbr this month i've been listening to the girl who played with fire um I'll, again i'm gonna put all these up here as i'm talking about them uh and i was going to physically read as i listened to it i my physical book is in the book tree i figured out so I'm not picking that up um i have seen so many more videos of people doing our book tree so i think i'm gonna make mine a little bit bigger we will see um i think i have enough books to make it a little bit bigger so i might do that but we will see um yeah i think i'm gonna take y'all along with me through my day and we'll see what happens because right now all i want to do is sit here plan drink out of my oogie boogie mug and read like that's literally the plan the kids asleep for now um she's not feeling good she has a little bit of a cough and is stopped up um so i'm having to suction her which she hates uh and she's not really wanting to sleep um so it's been a fun sunday so far but yeah i will update y'all here in a little bit bye guys